Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Demi Lovato's bipolar disorder experience, which will leave you speechless. So please listen and watch until the very end. I'm sure that almost everyone knows about Demi Lovato, especially if your childhood consisted of watching the Disney Channel movies, Camp Rock, or Princess Protection Program. Demi Lovato, both an actress and a singer, was born in 1992 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. But her road to success wasn't without obstacles. In, in reality, the young celebrity had a number of challenges that almost hindered her success from ever starting. If you've seen Demi Lovato Simply Complicated, her recent YouTube documentary, it details all of these difficulties in her life. From the beginning of her career until when she was one of the most well-known superstars, Demi Lovato shares her life and journey to recovery from depression, bipolar disorder, an eating problem, and drug addiction. That seems like a lot, huh? Well, if you're curious about her life story, please keep on watching. Everything started when Demi blossomed into such a talented young woman. And because she had a certain edge about her that made her seem real and credible as an artist or an actress, she was placed in a lot of various Disney projects. Everyone desired to work with her. And when she was selected for her first major project, it seemed as if she became a massive superstar overnight. To say there was a big amount of pressure on a young teen would be an understatement. She has just started simultaneously working on her music, TV program, and movies really crazy way of living so much going on in her life in such early years the stress the time commitment and the sheer amount of work required to have a successful career in the entertainment business are things that few people really could possibly understand compared to a typical 15 or 16 year old girl Demi was exposed to a lot of pressure and high expectations. Imagine that, at just the age of 16, juggling all of that is just way too much. But somehow, Demi Lovato still managed to do it. But then, in 2010, reports surfaced saying that Demi Lovato had given one of her backup dancers a black eye while on tour with the Jonas Brothers. As a result, she abruptly canceled the tour and entered a rehab facility for medical treatment. At first, Demi's close friends and family assumed she was simply being a teenager with a lot of stuff going on before they realized it was possibly maybe a more serious issue. Demi Lovato was 18 years old when she entered rehab in 2011 for her cocaine and other drug addiction and was actually given, given a bipolar disorder diagnosis. A mental illness called bipolar disorder causes sudden changes in mood, stamina, level of activity, concentration, and ability to carry out everyday tasks. It simply made sense. Demi Lovato says in the documentary, Simply Complicated, when she was given the diagnosis with bipolar disorder. Finally, she could explain why she had been sleeping all day and spending the previous nights awake creating music. Prior to receiving a diagnosis, Demi Lovato battled bipolar depression from for some time. Demi supposedly had moments when she felt unstoppable and has a constant stream of thoughts running through her head. Addiction 
is a relatively common bipolar disorder symptom. Her hunger grew along with her cocaine and other drug addiction, so she started to get hungry as well. Her heart is always in need of food whenever she feels lonely. Demi experiences both mania and sadness in equal parts. She discusses having family issues in her documentary, including the fact that her father struggled with addiction and alcoholism. Her depression and hyperactivity worsened as a result of her dad's decision to put drugs and alcohol above her family. Thankfully, Demi Lovato has developed her own recovery strategy over the last two years, which includes attending therapy on a regular basis. The importance of treatment cannot be emphasized enough when it comes to mental diseases, particularly bipolar disorder. The numerous emotions that individuals encounter are made tolerable by therapists. In addition to treatment, Demi enjoys kickboxing and keeps up with her exercise regimen, as she said in her documentary. It helps her to concentrate on the next step and take her mind off her addictions. Being truthful with herself, your friends, family, and anyone else who supports you is one of the most crucial therapeutic tasks. Remember, it's all about opening your heart to somebody close to you. However, it is no secret that recovery is a long process and that relapse is a common part of it. Demi Lovato did not get sober immediately or even after her first stay in a drug rehab facility. Instead, it took time for the superstar to learn how to live soberly and to adopt that lifestyle. Many individuals are not aware of Demi Lovato's struggle with addiction back in 2011 when she finished her first treatment program and began advocating for a clean lifestyle. She wasn't quite prepared or eager to change. But through the years, Demi has gotten a lot better. She started to develop a healthy relationship with herself as well as attend therapy for the better. Just a few days before turning 22, Lovato took some time off from touring to enter a much smaller stage. With no support band in sight, she talked openly about how she overcame difficulties with mental illness and lives well in recovery to an excited audience in a small lecture hall in Keene University in New Jersey. Her challenges and setbacks turned into lessons she wished to impact or in part to others, and that idea is so wonderful. Sharing with people that, with others in terms of their difficult times, and that they are not alone has become her personal goal. In one of her stories, she said that on the outside, they may see a young Hollywood and Disney pop sensation as she was great at pretending something she believes many people can relate to. Today's society views everyone who displays any emotion as being weak. But she believes that when you seek help, you truly show courage. It displays your confidence level when you can say, it's all right, I know I need treatment, and that you do. She's truly an inspiration to many people, don't you think? In one of her songs, Demi Lovato's lyrics sent a message to apologize for being herself, but it is not her fault, and maybe that is the most significant lesson her story can teach. Sometimes we might think that their lives are perfect and often get jealous of celebrities because they're living the dream, but in reality, they're just human, just like everyone else. Often, they're dealing with mental illnesses just like us. It serves as an important reminder that everyone is going through their own battles. So always be kind and also to never be afraid to reach out for help. So I challenge you to do something kind today. Ask your loved ones how they're doing. And of course, ask yourself, 
check up on check up on yourself okay that concludes today's video which i hope was very informative don't forget to like comment and subscribe see you in the next video